Welcome back to Normal Guy Games, and I am super excited. So this time around, I've actually found a copy of Hero Quest and two expansions, plus one of the special characters. And I'm going to, going to uh, unbox it, have a look at it, and maybe even down the line paint it when I get a chance. But uh, I'm excited because I actually originally purchased Hero Quest when I was uh, a kid from Kmart, and it was one of the games that really kind of sucked me into the whole fantasy gaming, skirmish gaming, and all that. And uh, I, I, I still have my old copy, but when the new one came out, I was super excited. But unfortunately, I couldn't afford the uh, the Mystic or Mythic Pledge, whatever it was. It was just too expensive, so I decided to just try and get it down the line. So I have it now. I got it for a fairly decent price. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like. So for the unboxing, all right. Uh, as you can see, the box art is very much like the old stuff. It's uh, very reminiscent. And uh, we're gonna crack this open and have a look. There's, uh, there's nothing quite like breaking the plastic on a new game. I don't know what about it is so satisfying to me, but it really is, honestly. <laughs> so anyway, the... Um, the game itself is it really is a more it's more than just a spiritual remake of the game it really is like a full remake right and i i get that they had to change a lot of stuff around because i know the original sculpts and whatnot were owned like by games workshop and um you know when milton bradley uh, when they were bought out by Hasbro, I, at the time, they didn't really... There was no license to keep this stuff. So uh, I, I really appreciate the fact that it that it got reprinted. Um, so it, w the first thing you get is this little box here. It's like a... a it's a cardboard, like, um, protector to that goes around the models themselves. And uh, the plastic is... It, obviously, it's the... Um, it's molded very well. It's very nice. It's it's pretty sturdy. It feels kind of sturdy anyway. Um, but moving around the tiles and whatnot, so we're gonna have a, a short look at the board. And unfortunately, because I'm limited on my camera space, I uh, it, it's just you know I'm just gonna fold it out here just to have a look at it. But it is really it's a very nice board it's well printed and it does have that same old nostalgic feeling of the original hero quest board it you know it's almost they, most likely they just did like a reprint had the original files or whatnot and just hey we're, we're gonna make another one but um it's very nice it's uh it's fold out like the last one was and uh it very vivid very vibrant the colors are very nice now I, I do also appreciate the fact that this is packed in there really well. It's uh, it's very it's a little hard to get out, but it's in there, so it's not going to be sliding around, slipping around, and all that stuff. But um, so the first thing I'm going to pull out here is the furniture, right? And this is all the furniture and the and the cards and stuff like that. But let's clear this stuff out of here and, and have a look at all this. So with the furniture box here or the the little piece of plastic it has uh every everything you need i appreciate the fact that it's plastic because the original stuff is just cardboard with a little plastic piece on the bottom but uh you get all your doors that's for the the opened and the closed doors which is cool and uh they're all arranged very nicely instead of being like those little cardboard cutouts that get bent out of shape uh, you get a very decently sized packet of character sheets, which is also a nice bonus. And the furniture itself is molded very well. It's it's sculpted very well. It's very uh, very reminiscent of the original stuff, uh, up to and including the fireplace, which is really neat. And I think I might actually maybe try freehanding something on that portrait, but we'll see. So the cards. Uh, again, it, they're very, um, they do call back to the original game. They're very nice, they're very sturdy, and the art is really good. 
Um, now, as you can see here, there are changes to way the ways that the monsters and the characters look, and this is all for copyright reasons, right? Because Games Workshop owned the original stuff, and you know now Hasbro owns it. So that part is really neat and obviously this stuff could be used for Dungeons and Dragons for RPGs and whatnot um, you get your same screen which has all the pertinent information on it for all the monsters and whatnot looks really nice again very reminiscent of the original stuff very cool and uh, it gives you all your your combat summary information it gives you all the monsters on it gives you all the all the basic information that you need there which is cool and the tiles are all just about the same that they used to be uh, the same artwork just about um, and it, it they pop out really well they're very thick and sturdy which is again a good bonus uh, the rule book has been revamped and kind of spruced up a little bit which is nice uh, it doesn't look dated at all and the game also is pretty much the same as it was at least at first glance here as the original so you're not going to find any crazy surprises on hey we changed up all this stuff here it's still going to feel a lot like the original game so the quest book is also now i'm, I'm not going to show the quest book but i i will go to the back here and show you the uh you know, you do again get the blank um, board here, or the blank tile, the blank, blank uh, map, so you can go in and, and make your own stuff. Uh, you get your intro, right? This is your this is your lore intro on you know what's going on and why. But uh, like I said, I'm I'm not going to go through the quests because I don't want to do any spoilers or whatnot. Now for the miniatures, um, these are of course board game miniatures. So they're not going to be as up to snuff as like, say, Games Workshop sculpts or whatnot, but they are really nice sculpts. So you can, you could, of course, uh, use these for more than just Hero Quest. You could use them for Dungeons and Dragons. You could use them for other fantasy RPGs. I mean, if you're really crazy, you could use them for like skirmish games like, uh, you know, Frostgrave and, and whatnot really because they're they're nice enough to where i could see someone using them for that now uh the heroes uh are pretty much almost the same right you have your barbarian you have your elf you have your wizard and you have your dwarf at least for the initial um they're pretty sturdy as you can see me bending the sword there it's you know obviously it's the regular the pretty much probably pvc plastic that you would find in all the other stuff um they they tried to be as faithful as possible i can tell you for to the original miniatures because like the gargoyle looks cool you know the uh all the warriors and the orcs and the skeletons they're all really nice uh, obviously they couldn't use femurs so they got these like fishman fishman type stuff um but you can see here the orcs are a little different right they are male and female orcs which is cool that is kind of cool um I might, I'm pretty sure I'm going to paint these up and try them later, right? You got your, your sorcerer, which was the chaos sorcerer in, in the original game. And uh, that's, you know, that's kind of an overview of everything. It looks really nice. Uh, the dice are cool. The, uh, as you can see here, the barbarian sword is just a tad bent, but if you boil some water and stick it in there, you can straighten it out, no problem. Um, the skeletons are really neat. They do still have a scythe, which is kind of cool. I always liked the original skeletons. I thought they were really neat. Um, now, this is just kind of a quick look at the other stuff that I got. I'm not going to go into this like very um, obsessively, but I did pick up Keller's Keep, the Witch Lord, and uh, the other pack here with, uh, I think it's a, the Thieves or whatnot. Thieves or Bards or something like that. The... Um, I got this all from a guy who just, I guess he had two copies and he didn't need the second copy. Uh, so, I mean, bonus for me. So in the Keller's Keep box, you do get your quest book, right? And uh, again, like I said, I'm not going to go through all this stuff because I don't want to throw any spoilers out there. Um, you get some new tiles, and uh, which is kind of neat. And the, now there was a Keller's Keep, and I think there was a, I'm pretty sure there was a Witchlord expansion as well for the original stuff. I don't have them, 
Um, but you get a couple of doors, which are, which are kind of cool. Uh, some alternate doors. And I'm not sure what they do yet because I haven't actually read through anything. Um, you get some more orcs and some more of the, the fishman dudes, which I'm not sure where they are, and some goblins. So it's, it's you know, this is just like a, a small expansion with some extra quests and whatnot. Nothing too crazy, nothing groundbreaking. Not like some of the other expansions, which I haven't gotten yet, that are, uh, that have, um, for instance, new boards or new, like, big floor tiles and whatnot or a whole new board. Um, but so this one you get a couple of uh, a couple of new tiles you get two new overlays for the board itself and you get some more skeletons um, some more zombies and some mummies as well as long as as well as some of the uh, a couple of the new doors too which is kind of neat so the these two expansions are just like little mini expansions with just extra quests and, and extra stuff in it which is kind of cool i do like the uh i do like the zombies and the skeletons that are in these i think they're really neat i think they're cool but um the uh these two expansions pretty much don't really need like you don't really need them but it's kind of neat to have right so it's it's kind of cool to have them because they're you know it's just an expansion of the stuff it's more stuff to have um, as far as this last one here, uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect because I, I didn't really do a whole lot of research, but this is a hero pack. So it is a, uh, it's, it's a pair of heroes, male and female, the, of the same uh, class type that you, uh, that you can use with the game. So uh, I, I did have some initial problems opening it because I didn't realize it was uh, that it was it was closed there. But you know, give it a second, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, so in this little box here, you get a an envelope that has some information about the the characters themselves, right? And it's it's just like a uh, a little bit of lore and whatnot for the game, uh, you know just a, some background and whatnot and then you get your cards for both of them which is the the male and the female version which is kind of cool it's kind of neat um it is the sorry it's not the thief the rogue okay so you get a male and a female rogue which is kind of cool both of them look kind of elfish in nature um they're sealed up which again is kind of neat as well it, i don't know why but it, it just feels kind of cool to unwrap them like this and once again the sculpts are really neat I think they both look really cool, and I am uh, I'm looking forward to trying this game out. I'm uh, hoping I can find somebody to play, and I don't have to end up just playing it solo. Uh, I don't remember all of the missions, but I do remember some of them from the original game. So uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. I'll probably end up being the one running it anyway. So uh, anyway, th this is just a little character expansion, nothing crazy. It's, it's nothing game-breaking. Um, again, not something you have to have, but it's cool. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we will definitely see you on the video next video. Please like and please subscribe.